Hello, hi everyone. Um, I have 15 years of uh, industry experience uh, in VLSI domain and uh, you know 15 years of design verification experience. So I, I started this channel mainly to help the students to help the next generation of uh, VLSI engineers. So please like and subscribe to my channel and uh, you know um, please inform to your friends as well. Your uh, likes and subscription are my motivation to add more good videos. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for that uh, in advance. Okay, so system will log semaphore um, is a topic what we're going to see um, today. Uh, I'll give you the brief analogy of how this is going to work. Okay, semaphore is part of the communication of the system very log. Um, when we have the common resource, uh, for example, in this case, there's a car, you know, you want to ride to a long distance. Uh, the car, assume the car is a common resource which can get access from many people, right? So when you want to rent a car, we go to the renting agency and uh, get the key um, to to hire a car and then we drive after using the car, you know, we can return the car instantly and then, you know, return the key, right? Exactly the same concept work for the semaphore also. When we have the um, common resource that is shared across many, many, um, many process and we want a basic synchronization to be happened like who can use the car when they can use the car based on what they can use the car right the synchronization of the uh, common resource accessing the common resource is what is controlled by using the semaphore okay so it's a very interesting topic uh, semaphore is used in uh, you know test bench um, mostly um, we can go through that uh, in this video more so, um, so in this slide, you can see that, you know, uh, semaphore key is the normally the function what we're using here. Um, so common resource, um, you know, that can access it and communicate to, to each other, right? That's where the semaphore uh, is mainly coming into picture. Uh, like I mentioned, you can rent a car, but you need to get the key, right? The key dot get is nothing but, you know, which is used to get number of keys um you know semaphore key also the there's a key we can define the how many number of keys you know we, we can define that so that number of keys will be getting it when we want to access a resource and once you execute the function then when we are returning the key that's exactly mean put the key right you're returning the key so get the key um to use the common resource and return the key that means put the key key dot put is what is used to return the key and that's where we are kind of handing over the uh, common resource for others to access it, right? So this communication mechanism is called semaphore. Um, we'll see um, with the simple code, right? Um, so in the test bench, if you see semaphore key is the uh, is the you know uh, exact uh, semaphore function what we are using here, and key is equal to new new one. I'm defining exactly how many number of keys. I'm defining as only one key here. And inside the folk join, there's four interfaces or four tasks, like where the four interfaces trying to access the common resource, right? That's what it means, uh, four interface trying to access a bus. Now, um, how this is getting executed, we'll see. So in the first task, uh, the bus access, which has like two bits ID of 0, 1, 2, 3. Um, now, these two bit ID um, is, uh, you know, when when key get is the one is defined that means we are trying to we are trying to access the bus by getting the key and uh, this is the task to access the uh, bus and there's a task to return the bus that means like you know we are using the key dot put right key dot put a number of keys equal to one returning the bus by putting the key right that's the two tasks that has been defined and then now this each interfaces will calling the bus access and also after some delay how long it want to use the bus then after the delay, it's going to do the bus return, right? That's the second task where they're putting the key uh, back, right? So task two is starting after, um, you know, five uh, nanosecond delay, uh, bus access, and then, you know, returning with the, after 10, it, it doing the bus return. Same the interface three, which is starting with 100 nanosecond delay, right? And then uh, it is doing the bus access and, and, and bus return. Interface four, is starting at the same time as interface three so that we can see like you know which one would get priority right because both are trying to access but which one will get eventually the interface task is interface three is which is getting executed first so this would uh, get the access and then after that only the the interface four would get the bus access so there is a uh, eda playground let's go and run the simulation over there and see how this will work Okay, so here is a code what we discuss, discussed in the slides right now. So I just did the run. 
so uh, let's see how the message is getting displayed right the first one the process uh, the interface one is trying to access the get the bus trying to access the uh, bus by getting the key and then he's got the key it trying to access the bus by getting the key that's a uh, second process or second interface which is trying to do that and it is returning uh, the bus by putting the key one returning the key for one and uh, now uh, once the key is written by the by the interface one then the interface two can guard the key right that's what here the message is right so though both are accessing it's not like number two is getting number two because it's a common resource shared resource number two has to wait for the key to be written by number one and then it got the key now it is returning the key uh, once it, it it returned the key then the interface three is getting the key right so this process continue so that's what about semaphore it's uh, semaphore is uh, you know it's very simple in terms of uh, the coding um semaphore key you need to define you know initiate the key with uh, the number of keys you want to get is it one two three four you can vary here and then uh, you know you can use the get key and you can use put key to put it back right so number of keys get key put key as well as the semaphore uh, definition of the key right so that's the four main um uh, coding you know what do you need to know uh, for using semaphore thank you